So actually this painting to me is um, a bit of an anthropomorphic painting. Um, what you can see is it feels quite animal-like, like fauna. So I know that the artist likes to talk a lot about identity. So it's quite interesting that this painting evokes um, this sort of animal character that's um, quite different from the rest of the works that are more angled towards the personal, the human characteristics. I really love this painting that I'm standing in front of right now. Um, I love the way that the artist um, captures the portrait of the person using uh, the hair as like a frame. Um, I'm completely mesmerized by like the shading and the attention to detail as well as the patterns that the artist uses both in the background as well as the clothing that the uh, person is wearing in the portrait. Um, I really enjoy seeing all of the different paintings in the show and I think it's really just like fantastic and phenomenal just seeing these otherworldly portraits. Diane Allen here at Anat Ebge and I'm really drawn to this piece. Um, I just did a little video as I walked up to it because there's something about the green hair and there's for me a masculinity in the face that I liked and, and some of these artist pieces the faces don't exist so in this one there's something particularly beautiful and um, kind of uh, questioning your reality of, of what we're seeing and the colors are exquisite and I'm really really fond of uh, the show I've seen here today at Annette's. We're viewing Angeles Agrea here today, an amazing artist from Spain. This is her first US solo show, first show in Los Angeles. And there are these incredible painterly large scale works on paper where the face and hair are rendered entirely in colored pencil and the clothing and textile in the background are all rendered in acrylic paint. Um, and they're loosely based on art historical compositions and fashion images sort of colliding together. Hi everybody, I'm standing in front of this painting right here and as you can see it looks like a, photo a photography but it's not. It's actually a painting and um, you can see that the artists use some sort of um, either wash or either pencil. Um, if you get close to the painting you can see the detail. I really like the color. I like how the artists play with the hair.